Albert Hoffman wrote in his lab journal, beginning dizziness, feeling of anxiety, visual distortions, symptoms of paralysis, desire to laugh. The chemist wasn't trying to create a psychedelic, he was trying to improve circulation. In 1938, while studying ergot fungus at Sandoz Labs in Switzerland, Hoffman synthesized a compound called lysergic acid diethylamide 25, or LSD, and it seemed useless, so it was shelved. Five years later, though, he gave it another look, and he took what he didn't realize was a gigantic dose, 250 micrograms, and started tripping. He asked a lab assistant to escort him home, but wartime fuel shortages meant they rode bicycles. The ride was surreal. He felt slow, but the assistant said that they were moving rapidly. He said, a demon had taken possession of my mind but by morning he felt reborn. Sandoz named it Delizid and hoped it would treat alcoholism or unlock the mind. Instead, it fueled the counterculture and was banned in the US by 1968. Today, it's back under clinical study. No days off, new fact daily. I'll see you tomorrow for more Accidental Genius Week. <laughs>